Hello there, my fellow zombie slayers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 New Haven, episode 45, Minimum Threat. I've had the uh, Red Talon person with a gas can launcher against me before. That was amusing. I sniped her, took it from her. Shut. This is about what we're looking for. It's time for you to die. You know, maybe don't announce our arrival. It's uh puts us at a bit of a disadvantage for no good reason. They're also fighting a feral? Oh no, I'm fighting a feral. That just seems wrong. I'm gonna back off so that I don't have to fight them and a feral at the same time. Are you even know how to fight, guy? Once more in this history. Fine, whatever, I'll do it. They're cracking shots past my head. I got a zombie coming at us. Can you cover me? Oh, man, he is really not good at this. Ow. Good shot. Here, how about how about dude, cover my butt. Okay, or Leroy, whatever. Where are you going? Oh, you're trying to shoot me now? You missed. It's a damn screamer. Oh. Missed again. I'm toying with her now. Alright. You gonna earn a kill, Mr. Uh, Ally? Oh, there he goes. Finally. No, I don't feel bad about the other. We're done here. Time to go. Much obliged. Be safe. So he gave me building materials. I like that. Yeah, she was a really good shot. The uh, the first one. Whatever gun she had was pretty good stats. The, this one. I had to blow her up. Not having like a good approach, because it's a standalone barn with almost no cover around it, made it difficult. That was the real hard part. I probably can't take out a plate heart because my trunk is completely, oh, hello, completely full of uh, rucksacks that I need to cash. I'm probably not going to be able to loot all this stuff. So you were firing on, okay, that's not what you were using. Get real, you weren't using a sighted MK3. I guess her gun disappeared. Or he stole it. Not that they actually do that. Because the other one has a, a hunter uh, scout, I think it is. Yeah, hunter's bolt scout. That probably was the one that was plinking me constantly. Even though I think... I don't know, whatever. Yeah, she could have just had really high accuracy stat, stat I suppose. Alright, let's get home with all these rucks. Material supplier. Oh, actually, I'm going to swing by the material supplier on my way back. Which, never mind, because I don't have room for his stuff, even if I wanted to buy it. So, still have some overdue hearts, but... Oh, I didn't become a hero. Bollocks!
Let's see how good I can drive home. How well. How good my English be. Better keep an eye out for plague zombies. Trying to read your chat and drive well. Not so good. I can already hear the car squealing. That's cool news. I've known some people in the gaming industry, but uh, not in the higher echelon of the gaming industry. The grunts that are in these, you know, in the uh, cubicle pits, doing the hard work for low pay and horrible hours. One of the problems of um, in the American entertainment industry is that people at the top make promises that are then somewhat obligated for the people at the bottom to keep, and there's a lot of rework and redesign and um, timetables that are just irrational. So it's a pretty toxic, uh, pretty toxic industry, unfortunately. Missed me. They're gonna kill you so good, dude. Silly. Uh, I could actually just take this dude back out. There's, um, he's not plagued at all, so. I'm just here to drop stuff off. And switch up my arsenal because I was in hero murder era uh, hero human murder mode. I don't have any more room for food. Okay, uh, let's make energy drinks then, which costs me only two food. Uh, make seeds and. This, this will actually help level up my nutrition uh, for Ezra. Because once he hits level 7, I get plus 10 um, stamina and plus 10 hit points. Most people stay in, in the lower parts of the industry because of lack of skill. Uh, I highly disagree with that. I think it's due to a lack of opportunity. In much like all industries, there's only so much room at the top. There's only so much room for the highest paid actor, the highest paid voice actor, the highest paid animator, the highest paid executive. And it's built kind of like a pyramid. And you can't have everyone in the highest paying jobs at the top. That doesn't make any sense. So the industry is completely full of talented individuals that... But, you know, there's no vertical mobility because there just aren't a lot of spots at the top. I mean, there's there's certainly a lot of, like, spots for being your own indie if you want to go that route, but not everyone does. Uh, take a look at my building materials. I probably don't need to go run out to that trade, but maybe I'll go do that just to sell off some of the stuff I don't need. Too much to carry for long. Your argument is kind of like people are only as successful as they pull themselves up from their bootstraps, but like that isn't a thing. I'm just gonna flat out say opportunities aren't equal. Um and if you think they are, chances are you have an incredible amount of privilege. Not to say that I don't. 
I'm not saying my I myself am not lucky to um, not get stuck in the the ladder climbing grind, but I'm just saying for a lot of individuals, it's not just as easy as I'll work harder. That's it might have been like that, like I don't know, 70 years ago, but that's just not the atmosphere that exists today in most industries. You can't just hike yourself up from your bootstraps to go from janitor to CEO. So, pallet storage, don't really need that. CNC mill, probably don't need that either. Yeah, I don't need anything other than maybe just the building materials. And I'm only buying the building materials so that we don't have to spin up the, um... That's it. The, the sawmill, unless we have to. Because we have a really high, uh, okay. daily maintenance cost for the base. That can be offset by the sawmill, but then the sawmill makes the yeah, zombie hordes yeah, why not? yonkers big. Not that I mind that, but it does get people plagued and injured. And injured and plagued people can't go fight hearts easily. I'm gonna rest up a bit. There is a infirmary command to be able to like remove everyone's injuries. But it, that also costs quite a bit, so it's not uh, necessarily a great deal. Unless everybody is super injured and there's not much choice. Although it would be one of the ways to level up my pathologist to become higher level so that I could uh, get that infection passive bonus. Maybe I'll, I'll figure out... I'll do that right now. I'll, I'll look to, in the infirmary to see how to level her up. Because uh, that could be really handy. All right, okay, I'm all better. Out of storage room for that. Pull one out. Look at our uh, morale. Dang, we are nine away from max. If I switched the church over you to morale or betting, are, we would hit max. Because I think a lot of our morale effects right now... Yeah, there's a lot of morale as a result of not enough beds. So if I switch the church back over to betting, we would hit max. Any outposts left to upgrade? There is one... Uh, but I'm missing 140 um, influence to be able to do it. Because I just spent a lot of that on in the um, I'm finally ready to the get upgrade back here. On my feet. Sorry to be a burden. So, I currently see five hearts of the seven that exist on the map. I wonder if I can sleuth the last... Okay, so there's clearly a heart, I would say, maybe here. Uh, so that's six. I'm seeing if I can find number seven. It actually might be somewhere in this cluster here. That'd be my guess right now. Oh, and here's an assaulting horde. So, um, let me go clear out that northern heart. And kill that assaulting horde before it spreads.
probably should not have taken the uh, super scenic route, but oh well. watched you guys spawn in from the sky. That was really weird. All right. Assaulting hordes cleared. That won't work. I guess I never really healed myself from that PvP fight. I wonder if this is what hell feels like. There is a infestation here. No more of that. Fire in the hole! If I swap out a new outpost up north, do you lose your maps and upgrades from the one I let go? Yeah, you do lose some progress from the ones you get rid of, yeah. So if I moved them around, it was only because I have like abundance. It looks okay, but we can't actually secure the place as long as that place- Cause you're right, I don't really have a outpost in this neighborhood, and it would be nice if I did, cause it's the one corner of the map I really don't. I have three up here. I had originally intended for this uh, power substation to be moved to this power substation, but I never really got around to doing it. Oops. Smells like a whole town died in here. Oh no, I brought the wrong melee weapon. Well, I guess I'm just blowing it up then. Just stand in the corner, pay no attention to me. This is fine. Burn, 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 burn. There we go. And my backpacking is now max level. I also probably ought to be a hero. I'd imagine. Don't fight me. Come on now. Down is dead. Just one left. I have all I can carry. Yep. Quiet time. So every single community member is a hero. That feels pretty good. There's probably other drugs in here as well, given that it is a clinic. I'll search for another ruck. Gonna have company. Nothing undead in view.
There we go. Perfect. All right, let's get, let's get home. I think this corner is all cleared out now. Yeah, it looks all plague-free to me. So I don't think there's, I don't think the hidden heart that I haven't found yet is up here. The Harkners. Here. We need some help. You hear that? A shout like that isn't a joke. We're on the way. All right, I'll, I'll detour. So much better when you get here. I don't know how to drive there though. I have no idea how to get over there. Maybe around this corner. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Farrell. Oh, Jesus. Alright, Farrell wins this round. Let me try again. Oh, they just killed it. Didn't even have to do anything. I think this is one of the heroes that hasn't specialized weapons yet. So all this fighting experience is kind of nice. These guys did not need my help. <laughs> like... Like, definitely did not need my help. Oh no, he's swordplay, and I'm just dumb, and I have a police baton. Just kill every damn zombie you see. Is it bad? I'm disappointed that was so easy. Yeah, it's uh -huh. not bad. I felt the same way, dude. You're a lifesaver. Really. No worries. Take care now. Alright, we should be instantly allied. And, hey, they're, uh... Their bonus is threat reduction, which is kind of funny because I've been dealing with a lot of threat back home, so I don't know. Score, I guess? I haven't really cared to try to, like, reduce threat, but now that seems to be the meta we're traveling down for, you know, for fun, I guess. So how much threat reduction do they provide? Where is it? Don't just stand out there, hon. Come on in. Three. Compared to the six of the church and the one from Ezra. I mean, it's, it's not it's not nothing. It adds up. As you can see, now we're at minimal risk. As a result of Harkoners. Wait, why is my threat reduction not being a factored in here? My quiet time doesn't seem to be one of those active effects. Can you stop shooting my car? I just repaired it What's with the on, repair kits yeah, I bought off of you. Of course. So it'd be really, really cool if you didn't ding it up needlessly. You donkeys. Jesus. Ruining my ride. Unbelievable. Unacceptable. So nice to see you. I wonder how many times I can ghost the cannibals and have them still offer me quests, because it's like time number five now that I've just not responded to them at all. Not gonna work. Uh I don't have space well, here, let me just eat my painkillers then. That's their game. They shoot up my car and then sell me repair kits. You know, that's, uh, yeah. That seems, that seems correct.
What I will say is the Enclave bonuses I've been getting off of my new allies this stream have really been disappointing. I was hoping for, like, beds or caravanning or XP of some sort. And instead, I get threat reduction and uh, influence gain. I, mean, I guess... Yeah, at this point, I, like, I'm burning my influence. I'm just spending it on dumb things, so I don't even need the influence where, you know, maybe a stream and a half ago I might have. But now I'm... I don't even care. I can upgrade that last outpost, though. Let me go do that. I'd have to drop something else first. Not so, meds outpost upgraded. Let, that lets me turn in the building materials that I had. Can we vote to have us kill or? Yeah, so I could. Uh, I don't think at my at my enclave max yet anyway. But there is the soul eaters, which I'm pretty certain is bugged. And then there's the grocery raiders who are cannibals that um, I could totally see myself killing anyway. Um, is the vestiges? No, no, they're still here. Yeah. Yeah, we could vote on that. I, I would like to try to get to uh, the sheriff quest, though, as the priority. Trying to Trying to wrap this up. So let's give you a sharp weapon. Oh, a mamba. Yeah, I'll, I'll work. Can't do it. So he's a hero. That means everybody's a hero. Fine. This situation maybe isn't completely hopeless. I'm gonna need a lighter load soon. There sure are a lot of creeps coming this way. Get home quick, folks. Oh, this will be interesting for you all that have been watching my uh, threat at max for those defenses. So this is a minimal threat siege, which is going to be a big joke comparatively to all the other attacks I've had. Ugh, I can smell that bloater from here. Okay, the creeps are on top of our base right now. Not that I wish anyone ill, but perhaps I heard that you were better thinning out. I see another way. The quality of the weapons that my Enclave members have versus no, the quantity hurt. of zombies that are coming for me is like the ultimate joke. Oh, there's one pharaoh. Watch him get lit up. And he's dead. <laughs> Just absolutely annihilated. I didn't do anything. I just paced and watched him get exploded. We are done. We just need to clear out the remainder. And yep, that was it. Guess we're strong enough to survive after all. Hope we can all keep it up. Yep, it's uh, it's really not a thing when you're at minimal risk. So I'll start to make a push for. Well, let me take out the Western Plague Heart that's a standalone, and then maybe I'll try that with the. Uh, with smoke grenades. Oops, that's not smoke grenade. And then I'll make a push for the middle hearts. And then once I've cleared all the hearts that I've found, if I don't know where the last last heart is, I can just use the radio call to have the game tell me where the last heart is. Uh, 
Uh, fuel's looking pretty terrible, though. So... Before I leave the base... I'm gonna call a fuel trader. Someone just got here looking to trade. Interested? Got your fuel. Looks like you get to keep driving these heaps a little longer. I've been burning it on, uh, throwables. How about somebody goes on a fuel run? Thanks. Yep. Already thought of it, lady. So what can we sell? What can we part with? Oh, uh, let me make batch cure. Because that will also level up our doctor. Maybe she's... Nope. One star away. She was two. Chem cases are not great. Actually, juggernauts are getting nasty. you can make chems out of ethanol. You ready to do this? Yeah, sure. So yeah, they're craftable, but like, you're not gonna find too many of them, or rather, you're not gonna be able to craft too many of them. Is it time for a feast? Yeah, it's time for a feast. Well, that wasn't so hard. And it's a better feast, too, with the nutritionist, isn't it? Let's help um, each other out. All right. Let's help each other out. Okay. Done. So now we're back up to 15. That's way more comfortable. Anyone sick? Ezra, yeah, that's right. Screamer here. So what can I do to raise our pathologist up a little bit? Knowledge of pathology. Bulk cure is really just the only way. We'll make another bulk, because I'm sure I'll sell it at some point. Oh, that wasn't enough. It makes my heart warm to see people smiling on occasion. Upgrade the other truck? No, no, I don't, I don't need it. I'm saving my circuitry for bombs. Alright, let's go for the hidden heart. Hey! Thank you for the bits. CHVB. The other truck that's there, its upgrade is terrible. It's probably the worst vehicle in the game. It's called the Viking, and it has horrible fuel economy, and it's actually oddly very vulnerable. Um, so I, I don't ever really go for it as a result, because it's so garbage. The only reason I upgraded is if I needed more storage space for overflowing supplies, which I don't have. I better watch out for plague zombies. So I was gonna try to smoke nade this one rather than scent block it. Wait, I have uh, brought kind of the wrong thing, but whatever. Whoa! It's really hard to tell if I'm getting bit with my back turn, though. So hard to tell what's going on here. This looks so creepy. Oh, that prepare feast just got done. All right, there's the bomb for later. Almost there. Can't let up now. 
Oh god, that's a bloater. Oh my god. Woo! Wow. That was close. So with the, those smoke grenades, I didn't get touched once. I mean, it was really close, but like, I took no damage, no plague, no nothing. It's a, it's a pretty powerful tool if you use it right. Part, part of the trick is to find kind of the uh, f positioning, the correct positioning when you're... Um, I don't know why I brought static so can bombs. Let me just use those up. Nearly out. The right positioning where a wide swing will hit both the heart and the zombies. So that you keep the heart at or you keep the zombies at bay and you're doing damage to the heart. I'll find your head eventually. I can't see his head beyond my... There it goes. Beyond the reticle. The bloater almost trolled me. If, if it had blown up, like, I wouldn't have died. I would have gotten a little plague trying to get out of that cloud, probably. But since there was no feral nearby, it wouldn't have been catastrophic or anything. Just annoying. Would have been sad to get bloater bombed out of the uh, perfect clear, though. You're right about that. Damn, we should have hit this place a while ago. It's just too bad that um, smoke grenades are almost not craftable. They're not technically not craftable, but they're pretty close. This is gonna slow me down a bit. Because I, I like using them. They're also pretty effective against other humans. They Other humans won't be able to see you in a smoke cloud. So you can sneaky sneak up to um, human raiders or whatever and murder them in real nice light. Voila! Cleared. So the only four I know about now are middle map, but there's still five left. They're only craftable in Meager Valley? I believe that is the case. Yes. In the police uh, base in Meager Valley. An interesting design choice, I suppose. Personally, I think there should be a mod that you're able to install in your workshop or armory or at least something to be able to craft them. Oh, shoot. That seems more fair to me. Give it give crafting, or, or, or put it in the armory, because right, the armory should be able to make everything that goes boom. I don't know, that's just my two cents, but they chose not to do that for whatever reason. I'm a little worried that Judy's sheriff mission ain't working. Unless I completed the prerequisites up until the heart clears, then I guess it's fine. I guess we'll we'll find out when I clear the, the remainder. And it should be a little bit easier to clear because those remaining hearts are actually pretty close to outposts that I have, so I can do hot swapping very easily. And not have to come all the way back home every time. Ah, 
Bad zombie. Don't do that. I'm on my last mag. I didn't I didn't quite get all the way there, but I did side mission a whole lot. But I'll go longer. Try to finish this up. Actually, Kenny's not hurt. Why not just keep using Kenny? I didn't occur to me, but yeah, Kenny, you're you're fine. You're going back out. <laughs> I'm still strong, and I'm ready to get back to work. So on these, I'll just use scent block because it's a little bit easier. So cure, fire bombs. I think the rest is in the trunk, right? Yeah, he is a machine. I mean, his ridiculously deep pockets is kind of insane. Like he stacks up to seven. Like, what? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 New Haven, which originally streamed live on Twitch October 18th and October 19th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below, but please keep in mind the series has since ended. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description in this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, to its subscribers, and viewers like you that made it all the way to the credits. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.